So we've um, I've sewn the sleeves in now. You can see this is the right sleeve, and it's got the the hole that I've left for to get in later, which will make sense soon. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to connect the lining to the garment around the neck. So what we'll do, pin it. Oh, what am I doing? It's on the outside mark. So when you're sewing this, good idea to sew with the jacket on top and the lining underneath. I'm just going to put a few pins in here. It helps along the way, especially around the back neck, because the back neck is the of the lining is lining fabric so it, it tends to be a bit stretchier so you've got more control if you have it with the um, the lining underneath Actually, i can put one in the center back as well And then we'll just work our way around to the last one. <coughs> so just keep an eye on things. Make sure that you've got, as always, you've got a, um, the raw edges matching as you sew around. The uh, the ribbing can tend to jiggle about a little bit underneath, so just make sure that, that doesn't fold and create any any pleats. So just every couple of centimeters, or just lift it up and see what's happening. See whether everything's still in the right position. put more pins in if you want to to hold things together but really it's a good it's a good habit to get into sort of trying to just manipulate the fabric with your fingers rather than depending too much on having a, a pin every couple of centimeters Okay, so there's our neck done. Let's see. There in the neck caught in. So now I'm just going to um, change my foot to a zipper foot again and then we'll sew down the center front. Okay, so we've got our, um, our front here. It's our, our front facing that we've just sewn on around the neck. This is our outer garment here. Now, this is a little bit odd down here at the moment, but all we really have to do is we have to fold that up there and stitch this across. So we're just going to stitch that across until the, uh, until the seam allowance there. And then our outer, our outer jacket, now in inner one, will be the same length and we'll be able to just sew down the front there. One of those things it seems complicated but then when you actually get to it it's um it's actually pretty simple just watch which way your seam allowances are going as well this one i've got going towards the um towards the side seam and we're just going to sew that to there so that's there and now we'll fold this up this seam allowance here will have to go up because it needs to join onto the lining and the top of the rib. So what we're going to do now is just sew down. I think I'll fold this one way or the other, but I think just to sew it, I'll um, I'll just have the seam going up. I won't fold it before. And I'm lining the um, the raw edges up here, 
and just make sure yep see that is matching in the same position there so I'm gonna go halfway and I'm just sewing over the original stitch line The zipper pull, I it was down here, so I just had to move it to the other side to get it out of the way. So you can see the um, the base there, that's the metal bit at the bottom of the zip, so make sure you don't sew over that or you'll break your needle. Okay, so this is going up. And I'll just show you this folds back. So when you fold it back, fold the seam allowance towards the inside or towards the facing. And the same at the top, just so that it's back there. Actually, that has to get folded both ways. That is rather quite a lumpy corner there. There's a lot happening. There you are. It zips nice and flat down the front. Um, so what I'll do now is I'll uh, do the other side. And I'll just get it in position to show you how I'm doing it again. Um, but we won't film the whole process. So the first thing, obviously our lengths are different, so we have to attach this one onto here, and that will fold up to there, and then they're the same lengths. 